Alright, welcome everybody back to some more exciting times with Fire Emblem 6 The Binding Blade. It really feels like we're ramping up to the end game now. Uh, we are on what I believe is the final side quest chapter of the game. We're on chapter 21X, The Silencing Darkness. So we're, it looks like we're finally getting that S-rank Dark Magic Tome, which I've been wanting for a long time. I kind of wish we got that earlier and that Ariola is the last thing we get. That makes more sense to me because... You get Ariel at a time of the game where you definitely are not going to have an S rank light magic user. As for how much of the game is left after this, don't know. But it really, <laughs> since it seems like we're getting the, the final epic map music, I, I have to imagine it's just around the corner. So, without further ado, let's see what the silencing darkness is all about. And we're getting this triumphant map music as well. Roy ventured deep into the Temple of Seals. Apparently, there was something else hidden there other than the Sword of Seals, aka the Binding Blade. So we might be getting two legendary treasures here. <gasps> oh my gosh! Wait! It's Oats! Oats is back! Yes! Yes! Oats is back, but he's younger now. <laughs> However, Pareth, one of Murdoch's best troop leaders, was already inside. It it's Dark Oats! <laughs> Oh my gosh! That's the best Sif, Darf Oats. <laughs> he was already inside the temple, and was waiting to attack Roy. That's one of Murdoch's best generals! It's just this, this old guy in a cloak, like, Oh, you beat Oats! But you'll never beat Barley! <laughs> hey Proxima, hey Sips and Zaros, welcome, welcome! Nice to see you both! Oh wow! <laughs> You're watching the old Let's Plays before I knew how to Let's Play and how to record properly. Cool. Glad to hear it, I guess. <laughs> oh, I don't need any calming tea. oh, no. Either there are no enemies on this level, or we are on another Fog of War chapter. But hey, this is actually a unique side quest, which is cool. Oh, sure enough, it's a fog of war. I guess, I guess it's fitting. We're in the Palace of Darkness, so it's dark. Well, this is a big boy chapter. I and this also is gonna suck because uh, we can't see what's uh, approaching us. Also, it looks like we can't take that many people here. Okay, so we got to pick and choose very carefully. Is it possible to add or subtract sound alerts? I can change sound alerts, not midstream, but. Uh, there's a there's a channel in my Discord where you can s where you can request sound alerts. No guarantees that I will add them, but you you can request things if you want. Ooh, who do I take on this chapter? Hmm, definitely Sophia because you know I want to out darkness the boss. <sighs> it's actually a tough one. Okay, I I need I need Astol one way or another. Um. Yeah, sorry, Lance. I don't need two paladins. As for the others, um. Sorry, Barre. I kind of. Mm, no, I'm not taking Fa. I want to build up those that Fa Elfin support, but. I can't really use Fa anymore because her Divine Stone is so close to breaking. I'll bring Klein. And I don't. I hopefully won't need Rutger. I think this should be fine. <laughs> this should be fine. Do, 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 do. Okay. Why did. Roy has two killing edges. I'm not sure how that happened. All right, uh, let's give you another air caliber there, Lelina. Let's give you another lightning tome. Definitely are going to want a restore staff. Oh, wow, we've got a bunch of physics staves, actually. I probably didn't need to buy an extra one, but we did anyways. Do that and maybe a men's staff. We'll do that. We'll make sure that Elfin is loaded up on, uh... Oh, wait. Oh, actually. Okay. So, also, um... We now have a very large amount of stat boosters. 
So, <laughs> this is one thing. So, I, I already know who's getting the speed wins. I'm going to be dividing the speed wins between Lolina and Sophia. The boots, on the other hand, are another story. Now, I could spread the boots out pretty evenly to give all of my units a bit of extra boot movement, or I could give, like, one or two units all the boots and just make them be able to teleport, essentially. <laughs> so, I, I gotta think about that. I definitely want to use some of the boots of this chapter, I think. There should be a link to my Discord if you go to my Twitch About page. It, the link should be there. Oh man, I kind of want to bring Merlenis, honestly. But I think that would be a waste. Okay, no. Roy, you're going to have to carry. You're going to have to carry some of these boots. In the meantime, Yodel. Deposit all of those. We ain't using you no more. Like, Merlenis actually would be... I wish I could take more characters. So that way I could bring Merlenis along. And have people fish out a bunch of stuff, but nope. Who has the Knight of her Knight's Crest? I think it's, um, Thaney, yep. Alright. Well, we have no use for those, so. You will most likely be seeing a green arty tomorrow. Most likely. Alright, yeah, feel free to suggest them. Again, no guarantees that I will add them. But I'm always open to ideas. Alright, definitely giving you a torch. I don't think he needs Iron Sword and the Owl Sword. He just er, is going to have the Owl Sword. So that way he can bring some more of them stat boosters. Alright, Sophia needs more dark magic. Actually, she needs another Nosferatu. We'll give her one of the speed wings. Uh, Trek should be on? Maybe not. You definitely need another Lance. Steel Lance should be fine, and we'll give you another Boots. <laughs> Still have no idea who's getting the Boots. At all. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> D for disgusting! Oh, also, we have a rescue staff somewhere, don't we? Yeah, Fa has that rescue staff. Um, I probably don't need it on this level. We should be good, I think. This should be fine. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, I think, I think we're about as prepared as we will be. Again, I can't see what the enemies are like, so I'm just gonna bring a little bit of everything. Alright, let's see where this goes. We'll see how long this chapter takes as well. Chapter 21X, The Silencing Darkness. I'm so excited for the return of my man, Oats. Oats is like the best Fire Emblem boss ever. So the battle above ground was lost? Yes. I would have liked to be at Lord Murdoch's side when he fell. We share your feelings. However, we have an important mission given from Lord Murdoch. We must defend this divine weapon. The silencing darkness apocalypse must not get into the enemy hands. Apocalypse is its name? Oh, that sounds awesome. It's no jazz pensed, but... This might be the last time we get to hear this awesome music. Is there a divine... There is a divine weapon under here? Yes, I think so. We've, I've only heard rumors within the army, but apparently there's a spellbook here that was placed to protect the Temple of Seals from intruders. This place is guarded by Burn's troops as well. It is highly probable that the spellbook that she speaks of is a divine weapon. Yes. We're going up against Zephiel soon. I want to have as many weapons as possible before we enter the castle. We have to get that book. I've also heard rumors that there are traps all over the underground level. Traps? Yes. Apparently they are so well crafted that we could not possibly find a trap before it set off. Perhaps thieves would be better at finding traps. Anyway, please be careful. Alright, let's be wary. Okay, that's ominous. It's just gonna say, oh yeah, there are traps, you can't do anything about it. Alright, we got some mercenaries. Light brand, okay. Alright, now we've got the, the problematic matter. Who gets boots? Who gets boots? I feel like giving boots to Trek and Milady is kind of a waste because they already have really good movement. 
Or I could just give all of the boots to Elfin. <laughs> Darn it. Uh, maybe I need to give my boots to some other people in the army. Well... I, have, I at least want to give a pair to Lelina, I think. That's fine. There we go. Sophia, I need you to use... your Speedween. Ellen definitely gets a pair of boots. She's very valuable. Does Roy get a... Yeah, Roy has to get a pair of boots. I think that's a must. Deke also gets a pair of boots. <laughs> Take good care of Deke's Iron Blade. <laughs> Don't worry, Sophia. You're gonna have backup. Oh, Silverbow Sniper. Okay. We're gonna put Klein on this side as well. Klein does not get a pair of boots. He's not worthy. Here, Lelina. Take a Speedwings. There we go. It's 20 speed Lelina. She's fast now. Sophia got 16 speed. <laughs> Alright, we're giving at least two of those other speed wings to Sophia. I want her fast. Okay. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go up here and use a torch. Alright. Fen... Pfft. Is Fenrir still... Okay, Fenrir... Freezing flames. 13 uses? Fenrir is such a weird piece of magic. Alright, we got some we got some intimidating enemies around. Okay, silent staff. That's not fun. But that is probably the least annoying out of all of the status ailments. I definitely want Sophia to get some boots as well. I think maybe I'll just use the rest of the boots on Fa. That's not necessarily a bad idea. Uh, yeah, and then I guess Trek goes on this side. Yeah, whatever, whatever, uh, Sipsitaros. Uh oh. How many enemies can attack Lelina? <laughs> This could be a bad thing. Oh, just just one. You fool! Do you know who you are dealing with? It's Star Trek. The brightest star in our solar system. Oh, Trek, I just hyped you up, and you go and just level up HP on me? Okay, there, there's no way Sophia's doubling this guy. No way. I have noticed the requests... As I said, put the requests in the Discord. Because there ain't no way I'm remembering all of those. Well, don't... Oh, track! There we go, that's better. Oh, wait. Sorry, had to sneeze, decided to mute, so that way you don't have to hear my extremely violent sneezes. <laughs> oh look, Ellen can use some light magic. Gotta get that rank up. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Still one of my favorite memes that we did. Oh, wow. So that's how it gonna be, huh? Alright, I will say, the endgame enemies for this are fairly tough. Well, some of them are, compared to Fire Emblem 7. So Fire Emblem 7 is basically just hordes and hordes of really weak units. Oh, weird. What does this do? Not, it does not enough damage. That's what it does.
Oh, that's weapon triangle disadvantage. That's weird. I mean, it's not weird, but it's unexpected. There we go. Ah. Rats. This is why <laughs> Elfin with the Boots is so good. <laughs> oh, that's actually great. Man, these are fast mercenaries. Oh, wow! What's the newest sound alert I've added? Um, I think the Boo from Princess Bride. I think that takes the cake. Hey, wait! Okay, he won't kill Sophia because of the angelic robe, but that's still scary. Oh, that guy's got a brave sword. That's also scary. Yeah, I think I'll use Air Caliber to shut that guy down. Because I don't want to deal with a brave sword hero. That's just not good. No! Melina! What's with all these 80% misses? This is not supposed to happen. <laughs> Lance Reaver, good old reliable. Oh, boom! Shaka laka. Get out of here. How often do I add sound alerts? Whenever I have another good idea. So, not very much. <laughs> Alright, Roy, here you go. Oh, look, it's a perfect kill, too. Boom! Build up your sword rank. I also think Trek is now an S rank at uh, Lance's, so he can use the Molt Shop as well. I'm excited to get the Apocalypse Tome, though. That's gonna be a fun one. I can already tell. Or it's going to be like Fenrir in Fire Emblem 7 and be absolutely hardcore sucky. It's going to be one or the other. <laughs> Alright. You're going to go over here. This is also going to probably be a long and tedious level. Hate that 3% crit. That's the worst. That is the worst. Are there any quotes from Emperor's New Groove? Uh, what? That would make good sound alerts? Um, probably. Give me my HP back. Nice job, Sophia. Alright, yep, a very Sophia level up. Is she capped at res now? Oh, no. Not quite. Oh, I don't have a default men's staff anymore. Darn gone it. Well, <laughs> might as well just dive head on into the danger zone. Oh, that was probably dumb. Okay, so you've got the speed wings. Give me those. 22 speed Lolina, that's good. <laughs> He's supposed to be dead would be good, but it'll also be very situational. I feel like the, it would only work in very specific situations, but when it does, it would be great. To all of the people who end up watching this and are like, No! You're supposed to use the boots on your flying units to make them super, super fast! Uh, I use them how I want to use them. And I want everybody to have a pair of boots. Maybe I'll give a bunch of pairs of boots to Roy. Would that make you feel better? <laughs> Give 
Give me that men's staff. Let's physic up Sophia just for safety. Because her defense is still very low. I also really should be using Klein more. At least his bow rank is now up to S. Why would you do that? Like, why would you just attack Trek and let him kill you? Probably because Trek is the only person they could... No, they, well, I guess they could have attacked Deke, but that might actually have been a worse idea. Why? Okay, and you're using the hand axe on Milady instead of the uh, steel sword, or instead of the silver lance. It's weird, because you would have had weapon triangle advantage with silver lance. <laughs> What's that? Was that a breeze? I didn't even feel anything. <laughs> How much damage can you do again? Actually, that's not bad damage. It's not great damage, but it's not bad damage. Alright, let's take out the sniper. Sniper, no sniping! Oh, oh! Well, first off, I don't even know what Dark Oats is gonna be. I would assume he's a druid if he's... But he, then again, he's only guarding the tome. He's, he's not necessarily, like, using it. Hmm. I'm assuming he's a druid, and if so... <laughs> I wonder if he'll have an eclipse tome. The best tome in the whole game. Oh boy, wait, it's Mr. Fenrir. Man, that legendary weapon just doesn't do nearly as much damage as I would have expected it to. Oh, man! You're too late! <laughs> Probably should not be used, doing all this experience hogging, but don't. I need that Ariola tone. Oh, look! Yeah, oh, not quite a perfect kill. Man, everyone's so fast now. Everybody's so fast now. And by fast, I mean speedy with them boots. <laughs> great, great EXP, Sophia. Proud of you. Oh, she needs. <laughs> You're not breathing properly. What does this give? Plus, oh. Klein gets plus five speed when he uses that bow. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Can I set this up so that Lelina only gets attacked by one guy? Probably. And let's keep Roy for moral support. Okay, you got the silver sword. <laughs> He has the Steel Axe and really specialized weapons, and that's it. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> I mean, he has that... I guess Roy is holding on to his Iron Blade with free uses. There we go, Trek. There we go. <laughs> so I missed... I just realized we could end up in a situation where it's going to be really hard to kill the boss, depending on how tough the boss is. So you're attacking the guy you can't damage, who will definitely murder you on Retaliation with the Silver Lance, as opposed to the guy who you might damage? <laughs> or maybe he can't damage d Giver, but still, that seems like a dumb move. Ouch. You know, I kind of... I was kind of expecting Deke to maybe fall off a little bit later on in the game, but he hasn't that yet. Wow, Dark Magic Tomes take way longer to use in Fire Emblem 6 than in Fire Emblem 7. <laughs> like, that Fenrir... 
That Fenrir takes like three times longer to use in this than in Fire Emblem 7. I mean, it's a super cool looking tome, but it's really bad. Oh, yeah. And this is why Lelina is a kick butt unit. <laughs> Although she does need healing. Oh, really? Mr. Shaman's not gonna move. That's no fun. Guys, Trek doesn't double this guy anymore. I am your father wouldn't work enough. It's a great quote, but it... A lot of quotes are, like, they're good quotes, but they wouldn't work well as Twitch sound alerts. Because I like people using Twitch sound alerts to re react to stuff that happens on stream. Dang, at this rate, Deke might be able to use Armads. Never mind. I thought he was, like, C or B rank at Axes, because I've been using the Steel Axe on him pretty much constantly. Okay, um, how do we fare against the sniper? Okay, we can actually kill the sniper. But what about the hero? Hero's a bigger problem. Sophia, I really hope you hit this guy. Thank you. Klein, I really, really hope that you can finish this guy off with your bow. You can't. Unless you get a crit. Oh, wait, we have Ellen! What are we even talking about? Like, once again, Ellen is taking a powerful kill. That's what she- Yes! 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 Ariola, Ellen is here at last! Oh, thank goodness. There we go, yes. Oh no. Alpha needs more boots. I really hope there's nobody up there. Oh, there's a Merc. There's a Merc, but he can't move, so. There we go. I. I we are killing this guy in one hit. That's what we're doing. Alright. <laughs> I quote Roz enough that we don't need a sound alert for it. <laughs> I'm watching you, Wazowski. Always watching. Again, sound alert's gotta be funny, unique, and work well as a reaction. Okay. Here we go. Let's heal up my boy Klein. Also, Sophia needs more speed wings. <laughs> Darn it. I keep neglecting to give Sophia the speed wings, but I can't help it, because Klein actually needs EXP, unlike <laughs> some other characters. Actually, I should probably give some speed wings to Klein, if I'm actually- if I want to use them long term. That would actually be smarter, because I know he has 18 speed but that's only when he has the legendary weapon equipped, and Sophia, well, Sophia has 16. I'll give at least one or two speed of those speed wings to him. Probably shouldn't have used a second one on Lelina. Whoops. <laughs> he chose poorly. That could be a good one. <laughs> So many good options. 
I also don't want to overwhelm people with just, like, oh, I've got a hundred sound alerts, because I feel like then that would kind of discourage new people from using the sound alerts, just because they're like, there's so many, which one do I use? Rats. Alright, Trek. Dun da 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 Oh, when did Trek take damage? Trek's not supposed to take damage, he's supposed to be the Invincible Knight. <laughs> Fatality would be a fun one. Okay, never druid. Oh, he only has Nosferatu, too. We're fine. A surprising lack of status staves thus far. I mean, there's the one person with the silent staff, but that's not that bad. I'm worried about things like berserk and sleep, especially if they berserk milady. That'd be bad. Physic up, my lady. Why not? We got some good units in our army, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> What's that? You would like to be destroyed utterly? That I shall grant your request. <laughs> Way to go, Alina. All right, HP and res. Yay. Oh, I hope there are no enemy thieves who are going to plunder the treasure before we can get there. A horse slayer? Axe Reaver Javelin, Axe Reaver Javelin, eh? Jeez, look. Oh, man, I should have healed Trek. go. This is just, again, this is another very long, very windy level. Not a huge fan. There we go. Same for Sophia. <laughs> Ain't I a stinker? Ah, oh, that could be a decent one. Alright, more Armor Knights. Yeah, this level's probably just gonna be tedious, but hopefully it won't be bad. It's probably not gonna be bad unless they hide something really jerky in the fog and I run in right into it. Oh no! No! What the heck?! I swear that their silent staves, like, always work even when they have a very low chance of hitting. This could be a job. Well, maybe we have Trek finish this guy off in one hit. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what sound effect that you're uh, talking about there. He's got Nosferatu. Let's use Durandel. Just to make sure we kill him in one hit. <laughs> it's amazing how Durandel was the first weapon that I got out of the legendary weapons, and it's also one of the ones that still... Well, it only has 12 uses, I guess. Still is more intact than the arm adds, though. Alright, uh... Tch, tch, tch. Let's try Killer Bow. Klein. Klein's just... falls short in basically every area. Like, his stats are basically exactly the same as Roy's stats, but Roy hasn't gotten promotion bonuses yet. So, that's not a good thing. La 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 la. 
18 speed on Sophia, is that enough, or should I give... Eh. I don't need Klein to be that kick butt of a unit. <laughs> Ilya Place, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Hey, Kaiju, nice to see you. We're playing Fire Emblem 6 right now. We're close to the end of the game, I think. We're on what I, I assume is the last side quest. We're trying to get the ultimate darkness. And yeah, it's it's just a long, windy hallway, basically, filled with enemies hiding in the fog. But welcome, everybody! Glad to see y'all! Feel free to set up... Hey! Okay, that's one of the traps that they were talking about, I suppose. It's... You fool. You fool! We have Al's sword. This is Al from Al's Toy Bar! <laughs> Alright, well... This looks like a good job for Sophia. <laughs> Crush them with darkness. I think we're at the point where all of our units are just kind of massively overpowered. Oh, if only I had a ranged weapon on my lady. That would be so nice. But alas... Right. Well, we'll just... Ouch! <laughs> what the heck? <gasps> How am I supposed to tell what tiles are going to burn me on? Or is it literally just, you can't know, you just are gonna hop into them and you're gonna die? Maybe I should give more boots to my bard, because now that all of my characters have boots, Elfin is not able to keep up as well as he used to. Which defeats the purpose of giving him the boots in the first place. All right, Star Trek. You're my shining star. Don't fail me. <laughs> you must die. <laughs> that I don't know what Ganon never says that. Well, I don't know what game you're talking about. <laughs> I don't recall any game where Ganon says you must die. Certainly not any Zelda game that I'm aware of. <laughs> what are you talking about? There's no such thing as a Zelda CDI game. <laughs> You're mistaken, Mr. R.S. I Normally I would just use the warp staff to get someone to the throne room, but I have a feeling there's going to be a bunch of people over there. And they will just swarm me and kill me, and I don't want that. Uh-oh, Armor Slayer. Good thing that Trek is not an armored unit. <laughs> yeah. Well, he got defense. Good job, Trek. Oh, and you broke and you broke your javelin on the hero's face. All right, Roy, you and Doc. How? How am I supposed to? Okay, are these tiles marked? They said that thieves would be able. To okay, hang on. Are these tiles the one? No? Okay, I have no idea what triggers the traps then. That's just peachy dandy. <laughs> Here, I'll give I'll give Klein one speed lane. There you go, Klein. Actually, should I give him mm, No. He doesn't deserve more than that. Again, Klein's not supposed to be my kick butt unit. Klein is just the guy I'm using because... Ouch! <laughs> Klein's the guy I'm using because he's the only one who's really good at bows. Okay, heal, heal up Sophia. So help me if this triggers another fire trap. Okay, good. Wow, this guy's tough. And he's apparently not moving, so... I'm just gonna hope that... Oh, pfft! <laughs> Oh, he has one HP left. Ouch. Um, Milady's not gonna die, is she? <laughs> if this triggers a fire trap and there's like a powerful enemy around the corner, this could actually be very bad. Nice level up, Milady. Very good. All right, here we go. 
Nobody's moved. Oh, this chapter is just a slog. That's what. That's all it is. <gasps> the enemies aren't moving. I just. It's like oh, you're. A, it's a very very slow <laughs> pathway to the end. Oh, there are lots of Piglet's big game sound effects that could be funny. I'm not sure if any of them would actually like. <laughs> if anybody would actually know what they are, other than my sister, though. <laughs> one of them would work very well for uh, Ocarina of Time Randomizer, though. <laughs> a small key is exactly what one would need to open a small door. Just play that every single time <laughs> I get a small key. Ah, what the heck? This is ridiculous. Oh, I can... Give me my longbow back. I can do some damage with that next turn. Okay, we got a Hero of a Brave Sword. That's the Silent Staff Doofus with a Physics Staff. Killer Bow. Steel Bow. Flux Bow. Fenrir Physic. Okay. Yeah, so there are some enemies up there. I probably could Warp Staff, but I am not going to risk that. Because I would really like to avoid having to reset. I haven't had to reset the chapter in a long time. Don't intend on doing this anytime soon. Are you gonna... Okay, you're gonna you're gonna be unable to talk for one more turn. <laughs> this is ridiculous! Oh wait, this guy's got a Lance Reaver, doesn't he? Ah, oh, that's a Berserker! Oh no, he's an Armor Slayer. There you go, Trek. Weaken him off. Then Deke can go in for the finish. Fish the finishing move! Alright, one of these should hit. There we go. Man, Deke has been using that steel axe oh so good. Like, considering it's one of the worst weapons in the game, it's so inaccurate. He has been landing, killing blows with that a lot. No! Don't attack Ellen! I don't need to use her in combat anymore. Except for her Aureola Tome. That she doesn't even have yet. <laughs> oh, yes. Finally. Okay, before I do anything else, gotta heal up Star Trek. <laughs> for the one turn that I'm allowed to speak. Maybe I should warp Milady to the middle. That wouldn't be a bad idea, I don't think. Alright, Klein is thankfully going to be a... You've got to be kidding me! Alright, use that long bow there, buddy. Might as well take advantage of it. <laughs> or I could... No, I'm not warping Sophia there. That's crazy talk. I will, however, see... Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Is there a good Captain Hook quote that would make a good sound alert? Well, Captain Hook is a great villain. Oh! Okay, so here's the boss. Peref! He is a druid! It's Dark Oats, a general of Burn defending the under... the undergrow of the Temple of Seals. Is that supposed to say underground, but they didn't translate that properly? Or, like, it got cut off? Oh my gosh, this guy's a pushover! This guy sucks! He's gonna be so easy to deal with. I mean, okay, he has Nosferatu, so I guess that's, like, his one claim to fame. I just teleported Milady in the middle of a bunch of magic units. Probably not my smartest move. Nah, it is. We could use the malt shop. There we go. And nothing bad will happen. <laughs> okay, Milady, you've not been getting very much... Oh, she's a level 13 promoted, that's why. Like, what the heck? My lady's not getting nearly enough experience. It's like, yeah, yeah she definitely is, Artie. <laughs> She's very overleveled. <laughs> Alright, Roy, just just keep bob bob bobbing along. Oh, yeah! Berserker! He's got a devil axe! Well, surely there's no way he's gonna kill Trek. Oh, no! Four damage. <laughs> bye bye.
Malt Chop says no. It is cool that you get to use the legendary weapons, like, outside of just the final chapter. I just wish that they didn't break so easily. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, that's how you're gonna do it. You're not gonna let... <laughs> what? You think, you think you can survive Klein's Mambo? You're wrong. You're dead wrong, son. You've gotta be kidding me is a very generic quote. I don't know what specifically you're talking about, Dog on it, Klein. So help me if I get another fire trap. Okay. Take that. Beautiful. Alright, now let's start plundering the treasure. Ooh, an elixir! Very nice. And Sophia kills the general. <laughs> I basically brought all of the good-looking characters on this level, I just realized, where it's like, oh, we got, we got Sophia, we got Ellen. I guess Astol is, well, I mean, he's not, he's not ugly by any means. We got Pretty Boy Elfin and Pretty Boy Klein. We got Milady, the cool dragon lady. We've got Roy and Melina, who are obviously both pretty cute. We got Deke, who's like the rugged manly man. And okay, okay. Well, Trek is very skilled, so. <laughs> oh my gosh. The Berserker. None of. Did they just forget to program the fact. Oh yeah, enemies are supposed to move on this chat. Like, did they just not realize enemies are kind of supposed to move? Because that's a pretty embarrassing if they forgot about that. <laughs> Also, I don't like how these free... Well, okay, I'll have to deal with those free with separate units. I'm the best! That would be pretty good. Oh, actually, that will kill if I get crit. What about if I get crit from... Okay, that's not good. All right. Well, since this guy doesn't move for some unknown reason, we're going to bring Lelina up here so she can pick him off from a distance. Then we can keep building up Milady's sword rank, I guess. <laughs> Probably didn't need to use... No, no, no. I'm glad I used that warp staff because I took out the stupid silent staff druid. Hotel Mario. Again, well, what are you talking about? I don't know of any game called that. <laughs> Dude, why are you even bothering? <laughs> it's like all... I... <laughs> There's nothing like a swarm of dark fire engulfing you in, like, a burning, like, evil, and then just hear CLEAN! No damage. Hotel Mario, Luigi's Mansion, everybody knows why Luigi's Apartment is the best Mario game. Oh, oh, um... Where's that goddess icon? I really need to give Sophia the goddess icon. Because, uh, Sophia apparently only has five luck. If I'm mis not mistaken. Five luck! That's not good. Alright, what's in this chest? Another elixir! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That's another fun one. Ooh! Here we go. Oh, wow. Fenrir actually can damage Sophia. That's a miracle. With her nearly 30 res. Nice to see Fenrir is still a garbage weapon in Fire Emblem 6, as it is in Fire Emblem 7. <laughs> Goodbye. Burn. <laughs> Alright. I'm kind of amazed at how good Ellen turned out. I mean, again, I, d I think I gave her an angelic robe. But, like, she kept magic, luck, and res all by herself. She got 17 speed, like, all by herself. She's crazy good. Alright, at this point, I think I can go up and start taking on Dark Oats. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, funny you bring that episode up, Simpsons Aris. I actually watched that episode today, before the stream. I've been re-watching the Arthur episodes. It's... they're great. Arthur's such a good show. Alright, Trek! Hacha! Man, Trek dominates even with iron weapons. That's how good he is. Oh, hey! Hey, phone, are you finally gonna allow Twitch to start working again? Or are you just gonna tell me people are live on Twitch and then not let me actually view them? Oh, you're gonna do that. Okay, cool. Oh, that's a killer bow. Still no danger. Oh wait, no. We gotta have we gotta have Sophia be the one to take on Dark Oats. Dark versus Dark and all that. Oh, but first. Here, I'll give you the goddess icon, and I will give you the speed wings. Now, make sure that... <laughs> okay, well. Guess this is the best we can do! Here, I'll take the restore staff. You don't need that anymore. I'll take the warp staff. We're not using that. I'll keep the speed wings for now. Got a Psycon. Luck increased. Yay, now she has seven luck. Yeah, I'm not putting either the, any quotes from them in. No, thank you. It's a, it's a highly exclusive process for what gets allowed into being a sound alert. Ooh, four blaze! <laughs> Order! 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 <laughs> oh yeah, new adventures of Winnie the Pooh would have lots of sound alert ideas. Oh my gosh. Burn. Get it? Because the guy I'm fighting is Burn. <laughs> Go Steel Axe! Nice one, Deke! Oh my gosh, he's so good. Alright, level 14 Deke got skill. How many... Have you capped any stats? You've capped no stats, but you're, you're close to capping almost all your stats. <laughs> that... This seems like a good trade. Oh, that's... There's a lot of chests I actually have to go and grab. It's almost like this level is too big. You've got the flux equipped. Great. <laughs> How about Pigwood saying, Ouch! What the? There is no rhyme or reason what triggers these stupid traps! I don't even know what the game intended to be like, Oh, this is how you know there's a trap here. Just seems random. Ouch! Although, admittedly, if I got a spear in this my side, I would expect it to do a little more damage than two. So I, I, I will at least accept that. That's, that's pretty nice. Here's hoping that Sophia doesn't get one-rounded by Dark Oats. She shouldn't. I mean, she has basically 30 reds, and he's a magic unit who, let's be honest, is probably not going to be doing that much damage. All right, Astol, you've got to got to get your rear in gear. Move down and get the remaining treasure chests. Ouch! No damage. You did no damage to a bard. What the heck? Was the was that like was that a like a Lego spear? <laughs> zippy zippy zay. Wee! <laughs> Here comes the entourage. Darkness from an age long forgotten. I will show you its power. You're using Nosferatu, not Apocalypse. Shut up! I'll avenge my brother Oats! <laughs> I did so much damage. <laughs> I 
Oh my gosh, Dark Oats, what are you even doing? We we'll, we might be here a while if we just leave everything up to Sophia. Who else could be a good support player? I mean, Valina would, but at the same time, I feel like we'd run into a similar problem with Lalina, where uh, she wouldn't be doing much damage either. Ouch! Not fun. You're despicable. A lot of these just are overlaps, though. Again, it's a, it's a very, very heavy selection, selective process that goes into what becomes a sound alert and what doesn't. Oh, that's right. No, it's nice to know that no matter where you are in the world, <laughs> that the bosses will always have stupidly high avoid. Also, literally every single level in this has been... Uh, what?! Well, it's a good thing I've got Deke with Durandel right here! What the heck?! <laughs> wow! That is... Of all the moves that the game has thrown at me, that's one of the most jerk-butt ones. What would I have done? Oh, I guess I have Malt Milady here, but still. No, I know. Again, you're just you're you're putting in a lot of requests, and I'm I'm here I'm just here to tell you, like, that's fine, I welcome that. Just know that I will probably not be adding a whole lot of new sound alerts. Cause I'm pretty happy with what I have now. <laughs> You'll have to be more specific. I'm pretty sure he says that more than once. Oh, we can also build... Actually, are there any characters left? Oh, yeah, we can build up the, um... Trek and Milady supports. We can also build up the, uh, Lelina and Astol supports. That would be nice. Alright, come on, Sophia. Maybe I should save a pair of boots for Rutger as well. Wow, Sophia's been hitting those pretty accurately considering the less than a 50% chance to hit it has. Alright, Star Trek. <laughs> I want that ultimate darkness! You can't have it! It's mine! <laughs> Eventually he's gonna break his Nosferatu. <laughs> Very exciting battle. Two slow dark mages that are failing to hit each other. Um, just checking. Milady, you can rescue him, right? No, you can't. Okay. So, if, no, we're not putting Trek right there, actually. That would be a bad thing to do. Oh, look! It happened again. Fortunately, we've got Klein with the Nerglech here. Wow! Nice going, Klein! Wow, a good level up! Nice job, Klein! Proud of you, buddy. Alright, now, Astol, you are gonna go and fetch those other treasure chests. Lamina will accompany you to build up that support. Look at how fast he is. Okay, so this boss is a little scarier than I expected. I mean, not if you use high-level Sophia, but still. Whoosh! <laughs> you can't dodge forever. You can try. But you won't. Oh my gosh, I've almost broken Sophia's flux tome. Come on, I just need to hit him one more time with Sophia, and then Trek can finish the job. Trek can reliably finish the job. Dog on it. Okay. Well, I mean, I hit him like five times in a row. It makes sense that he would dodge six times in a row. 
We'll see what Klein can do. Ouch! No, I'm not doing a channel point reward where Artie is silent for a minute. If you, The whole point of me let's playing slash streaming is to hear me talk. If you don't want to hear me talk, don't watch the stream. <laughs> let's try it. Boom! Deke cannot miss with the Steel Axe! Dark! It's getting so dark! That was kind of a sad death quote. It's okay, he's reunited with his brother Oats. Channel Point Reward where Artie does a cartoon character impression? Um, that's called Artie Talks in a Weird Voice for a minute. I think you, you have to realize, I can't do voice impressions very well. No matter what voice I do, like, it sounds like me. I always have that Midwestern undertone. Oh yeah, who get- oh wait, um, who has- oh, you've got the speed wings. Sophia's 19 speed, Klein has- okay, it's going to Sophia. But first, let's start building up that Trek and Milady support. That is... Mmm. Yes. Mmm-mm good. I'm saving those other pairs of boots. I don't know who I'm giving them to. I will probably give one to Elfin. And maybe one to, um, Rutger. Here, let me heal you, sir. Basically, any quote from Star Fox 64 is a good quote. It's hard to narrow down which one I would do, if any. Alright. Let me guess. Trap? Oh, well. I, well, call me surprised. Alright, Sophia. Oh, wait. Ellen, you're the one who has it. I can't wait to see Sophia with, um, <laughs> with 20 plus speed. <laughs> She's, I just want to point out, Sophia started the game with, I believe, 5 speed. It's amazing what pumping her full of speed wings will do. Okay. This, this is another reason why I brought Lolina with him. In case there are more dragons. That's such a jerky move to do, to put dragons in chests. Do 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 do. Elixir! Okay, so we got free elixirs, basically, and that's it. <laughs> cool. How does Sophia still have an E rank in staves? Like, how? I feel like I've used her heal staff, like, constantly. Oh well, one of the great mysteries of the universe, I guess. Alright. <laughs> now we just... we wait. <laughs> we wait and wait and wait to build up those supports. And wouldn't you know it, the <laughs> last side... Man, out of all the side quest chapters, that one might have been the easiest. Like, there's nothing in that level that was particularly difficult. Like, the traps were annoying, the mannequins... Again, if I hadn't brought so many legendary weapons, the mannequins in a treasure chest would have been super, super stupid. Still was super, super stupid, but... Like, there was no real... Da there were no times in that chapter I was really in danger of dying, so... That was a... That's a welcome change compared to last chapter. Welcome change for sure. 
Come on, come on. Okay, here we go. It was easy getting to the treasure. <laughs> he says, on top of a treasure chest, that's great. I'm an expert at picking locks and stuff. Anyway, after I'd grabbed all the goodies and stepped outside the treasure chamber, BAM! There he was, standing right in front of me. And wouldn't you know, that person was... My father? Lord Hector just stood there staring at me. He didn't seem surprised or anything. You could tell he was somebody just by looking at him. Me? There I was frozen in the spot, carrying bags of loot over both shoulders. Would he call the guards? Would he cut me down right then and there? And I was wondering what was coming up next. And? Wh what What happened? He suddenly burst out laughing, milady. He said, quite a man to be able to get through my castle's security so easily. What's your name? And I was just standing there with my mouth hanging open. Lord Hector then boomed, would you offer your skills for the benefit of our country? Wow. I thought he was out of his mind, but I knew he wasn't kidding around by looking at his face. Anyway, I thought, to hell with this, and I tried to bolt out of the door of the treasure. And then... And then... And then from behind me, Lord Hector... What? What did he do? He... Whoops, I'm sorry, my lady. I really should be get... I really should get going. I'll continue the story. Again? Oh, well. Well, we aren't gonna f hear the end of that story, because Valina already has an A support of Roy, and you can't get A support with more than one person. Man, Trek and Milady just... <laughs> but Trek and Milady supports, man. Like, they take ages. Probably because Trek is sleeping all the time. Oh, well. I think in the meantime, I guess we conquer the front. Elfin, do you know what the spellbook is? It is probably the Apocalypse spellbook. Apocalypse? Yes, it is also known as the Silencing Darkness. Bramimond, the most mysterious of the eight heroes, used it. Oh, I know Bramimond! He was in Fire Emblem 7. I didn't know he was like a dark magic user, though. That's cool. Bramimond. I only know his name. We don't even know if Bramimond is male or female, young or old. None of the old scrolls say anything specific about Bramimond. I see. Roy, is something wrong? No, I was just thinking. About what? I was wondering why there's always some kind of a trap where a divine weapon lies. Yeah, and those traps were unmarked! Perhaps it is to warn people that their power is too great to be dealt with lightly. But still, the traps are so carefully set. There must be other reasons. Is there a limit to how many sound alerts I can add? I'm not sure if there's a limit that Twitch puts on it, but I'm definitely going to put in a limit of... I'm not going to have too many. I'll have a good amount, but I don't want so many that people are just, like, completely overwhelmed by the choices and never use any of them. So, I only add the ones that I think would be really, really good additions. I wondered about the same thing. Perhaps I shall look into it. Yes, please. Apocalypse now! Can't wait to give that into to Sophia. Master Roy, this sword's stuck in the altar. This must be the Binding Blade. Sword of Seals. Let's see. I can't seem to draw it from the stone. Well, that's because you're not King Arthur, and you're not the Chosen One, Merlinus. It's sealed. You have to use the Fire Emblem. Use it? How? Princess Guinevere said that you just have to stick it into the opening of the handle. Whoa! What the? The blade is glowing! Now I should be able to draw it. What is this? This is the sort of Seals's... No. Heartless memories? Ooh, who are you? Who was that? What is this feeling? It's very... Ooh, I love the music box song. No, oh, we I wanted the music box song! Master Roy, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine! <laughs> Peter, are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> so this is Hartmut's sword. The Sword of Seals. Am I allowed to use it? It has been said for centuries that the best swords choose their owners. The sword is in your hands now. You were chosen by it. Sorry, Merlinus, you the sword didn't choose you. But it's only coincidence that I'm holding it. What we may think is being coincidental. Even that might be part of our fate. Anyway, now that we have the Sword of Seals, all we need to do is head for the King's Castle. Wait, now? We must hurry! Right, we have to defeat Zephiel! 
And we get the Binding Blade! Or Sealed Sword, but it's a, it's real name is the Binding Blade. Plus five to defense and res, and wow. One to two range?! You're nuts, right? Wow, that sword looks incredible. Apocalypse. Weight 12. Power 18. Plus 5 to magic. Oh my gosh. Sophia will one-hit anything with that, pretty much. That's fantastic. I'll send <laughs> some boots back. Oh my gosh! Roy finally gets his stupid promotion! This better be epic. What kind of promotion is that? He doesn't look any different! No, he's a Master Award! I mean, those are some hefty stat boosts, but... That was the dumbest promotion ever! It happens at the very end of the game, and nothing changed! His pose is exactly the same as when he's not promoted! That's so stupid! <laughs> His dad, when he got promoted, got a freaking horse, and can use lances. And Roy is literally just like, well... Now I guess I can get more levels! <laughs> Great. Well... Um... If... Here's the thing. We're... We're slightly under time for this stream. But from what they said, we're about to march into Burns Castle. And if there's... If it's anything like the last chapter, it's gonna be super long. So I'm gonna take a look at the next chapter. If it's a long chapter, we end the stream. And if it's a short chapter, then maybe we do it. So let's see. Chapter 22, The Never-Ending Dream. Well, just judging by the title, I'm guessing this is going to be a long chapter. Never-Ending. Hmm. <laughs> After obtaining the Sword of Seals, Roy directed his troops towards Burns' capital, where King Zephiel was waiting. Inside the castle, Zephiel awaited with his personal guards at hand. Are we storming his castle and killing him this chapter? Roy prepared to charge the castle to end this war and to bring peace to Aleve again. Okay, this looks like it's the final chapter. And, okay, yep, this is Burns Castle, and this looks like it's going to be a pretty... Yeah, that's a pretty big... Yeah, that's that's a pretty gi freaking gigantic map. Yeah, we ain't doing... Yeah, we ain't doing that. We Monday's stream, we went way over time. This time, we'll go slightly under time. That's what we're going to do. So, next time on Fire Emblem 6, The Binding Blade, we're going... To Next chapter, we're going to Castle Burn to end fiends, and wow, guess what? It looks like yet another chapter that is just stupidly long and linear for no real reason. Wow, you think you would think the Binding Blade developers would get the hint that long hallway linear corridor chapters just aren't that fun, but nope, they didn't. All right. Well, how many how many troops can I bring? Oh, okay, we can bring 16 units. That's going to be great. So we'll be able to bring all of our favorites. <laughs> we'll get to bring all of everybody's favorite units. And barf. <laughs> Binding Blade is almost finished. So I'll be streaming this again uh, Monday and Wednesday next week. Or maybe we'll finish the game then. That would be pretty awesome. And then, most likely Sunday, we will be playing Pikmin 2 No Deaths. So... Everyone should tune in for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you all for joining in. This was definitely a bunch of fun. We got two amazing weapons this stream, and uh, hopefully next time we'll be able to end the game and the chapter won't be stupidly hard or really, really dumb. So, here's hoping. Thanks for joining in, everybody. Have a great rest of your night, and God bless.